Welcome back guys. In our previous illustrated tip, I show you guys how to rotate an object in a circle using transform again option in Adobe Illustrator. In this tip, I will show you guys how to do that in a different method. With this method, you can make these individual shapes get affected with the curveness of the circle. All right, let's get started. First, I will show you guys how this method work. I'm just going to draw a rectangle in here, random size, no preference at all. And I just place it, place this in one side in here. Now, select the rectangle and go to brushes. If you don't find brushes, go to windows and activate the brushes in your illustrator. Before I go to brushes, let's make an ellipse in here. 500 width by 500 is fine. And for this, we don't need any stroke or fill, all right? Okay, now select the rectangle object, which is going to rotate and go to brushes, create a new brush. In the new brush window, select pattern brush and select OK, which will open up the pattern brush options. In here, you can just leave everything default. You can also define a name if you want. Only thing you need to do is create a spacing and spacing select 100%. This spacing size is related to your object you have selected, which is the rectangle. So when you select 100%, the spacing will be same as the size of your rectangle. All right, so now select OK and select the circle and apply the new pattern you have created, which will apply the pattern the way we have created in here all right so this is basically how this will work based on this we can define how many number of copies you need in this duplication to do that we need to do some little bit basic max so i will show you guys how to do it with our next example again i'm going to draw a circle in here and i'm going to define 500 pixel by 500 pixel okay let's apply a fill color for now all right so we already know this rectangle is 500 pixel width and 500 pixel height so our radius will be 250 pixels it doesn't matter whether it's pixel or millimeter the number is going to be same so r is going to be 250 so we already know the radius based on this radius we can easily calculate the circumference of this circle boundary of the circle it's going to be 2 pi r it's going to be 2 pi r and you can easily calculate that with this website in here you can find the link under the description below and you can see in here i have defined 250 as its radius and the circumference is 1570 and we can ignore the decimal portion and make it as 1571 all right so let's bring the number into illustrator 1571 all right so r is 250 and c is 1571 okay so let's say we need to have 12 copies of the rectangle we can define the size by let's go to the rectangle and double click on the rectangle select the rectangle and click in here and for the width we can define the size by 1571 divided by 12 okay now this number is including the space area and for this example let's say space area which is the blank space and the object is same size that mean it's going to be 50 50 so let's divide one more time divide by two and let's say okay now we have the rectangle with the correct size for the 12 copies okay all right so what we need to do now is again select the rectangle and go and create a new pattern brush this time also leave everything same and keep the spacing 100 percent and okay again select the circle we don't need any fill color for this circle and apply the latest pattern brush to this circle 
if our calculation is correct you will see 12 copies of this rectangle all right so let's say if you want to increase the gap size and decrease the size of the rectangle for an example if you want the gaps to be two times bigger than the rectangle when you divide the c you need to divide three times instead of two and in the pattern brush you can define 200 person for the spacing hope you guys understood this part if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section i will try to answer as much as i can all right so thank you for watching see you guys in the next tutorial